I went a bit crazy guys. I went a bit crazy and I bought the whole of ASOS. I bought the whole of ASOS guys. So stay tuned if you want to see one of my biggest ASOS hauls ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video if you are new i do plus size fashion beauty lifestyle all that good stuff every tuesday and thursday so don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below it's of course free to subscribe and hello to my lovely regulars thank you for spending your time with me today i went on a wild one i lost my mind <laughs> ASOS was doing a 25% off day and I was waiting for it guys I was waiting for this day I had a lot of things that I wanted to buy and I bought them I bought them <laughs> I'm a bit loco I am pre-filming so this haul uh, will be from a couple of weeks ago when you're watching it so obviously that day that 25% off day was a while ago now but that probably means that the next one is just around the corner. ASOS is always doing these 20% off kind of days. So definitely, uh, you know, subscribe to their emails and there will be a flood of discounts, I'm sure, especially with Black Friday around the corner. But yes, I went a bit crazy. Um, so, oh, a couple of things that I bought that I'm not gonna try with you guys, because they're bras. Um, Bralettes. I feel like now we're moving out of COVID, um, finding like loungewear and bralettes is getting really hard. Um, I wear these every day. I'm working from home. I'm not wearing a, a real life, a real life bra when I'm at home. And I'm just finding it really hard to find comfortable bralettes. I've got some bralettes that I have worn hundreds of times that I bought during lockdowns. And it's just time to, to, to find some new ones. Um, so Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein, what a treat, hey. Um, I love Calvin Klein. They do do plus size up to 3XL. If you've got a big chest, it's not going to work out. I'm probably the biggest that this would fit. They are very stretchy. Um, there is no clasp, which I like because I that's... An element of bras I find uncomfortable, so there is no clasp. This one is a quite different design because the back doesn't have much to it. You just have the elastic band because this stops kind of just under the arm. But this is this is perfect for what I am looking for. It's a really cute green colour as well. Like I'm not wearing these out very often or I'm just snipping to the shop. So the colour is just for me and it's just a nice, fun um bright turquoise color um they are like double lined that's what you're paying for with calvin klein they are good quality the uh, material they use is super super soft this one was full price but i obviously got 25 percent off it you've got really nice adjustable straps they're just comfy guys and they're just perfect for wearing under a sweatshirt when i wear sweatshirt and leggings to work from home during the week so really really nice i got this in a 3xl i don't buy the knickers because I don't see the value. Uh, this, I know I'll wear loads, but I'm not spending 20 quid on a pair of knickers. I think that's a bit crazy. This is probably my favorite style. This is my favorite one. This was in the sale. I think it was 18 pounds, and then I also got 25% off. So this was a great buy. It's this beautiful lilac color. Um, again, you've got that nice, thick Calvin Klein strap. Again, you've got the double lined material, which is kind of what you're paying for, and just really nice material. Um, yeah, this is literally perfect for what I'm looking for. And then the final one I got, again, this was in the sale. It's a slightly, slightly weird color. However, sometimes I do wear like a little white oversized top, and you can often see my bralette through it. So I feel like this is a great one to wear under white, like if I travel, sometimes I wear like a white oversized tee, but I don't want to wear a bra. So this is kind of like my nude bralette. Um, it is a slightly different material. It's more of like a nylon 
type stretchy it's kind of cold to the touch this one is super stretchy but i will say it's probably not going to be as moisture wicking as the other two i think if it's full price i wouldn't keep it but as i got it for such a good price i will be keeping it to wear under white stuff and just in general but yeah i am definitely on the lookout for some more calvin klein brush you can find them online but they just didn't have the free xl just seemed to sell out really fast so but you've got to be quite quick if you want the free XLs in the Calvin Klein range. So when I go to America, I am definitely going to go to the outlet and see if I can get my hands on some because they're so comfy, but I don't want to pay full price. Then guys, please forgive me that I'm not going to try them on right, right now. I'm going to insert a picture. Um, these boots, how cute, how amazing. Um, these are like brat stole boots. I absolutely love them. They were a bit of a whim for me. Um, I wasn't really looking. I, boots are so hard for plus size. They just don't exist. I will say these aren't wide fit. I do have like relatively wide feet. So there is a little struggle in the terms of like the shoe. Like, and I have high arches as well. So just bear that in mind. But these are so cute and they do fit my huge calves like guys i have big calves there is quite a bit of stretch in these they're all already kind of made quite big these are pretty easy to get on as well for someone with big calves these i absolutely love them i love the kind of like brat doll vibe they give i think they're going to be a really fun accessory um to pair with dresses and skirts this autumn so really really pleased with these i got these in a size eight uh, just obviously because i have wide feet so tend to size up from my wide foot size um to get them um and then this is just a quick like memo <laughs> uh makeup i was gonna buy the mac advent calendar it was 170 pounds but i thought there was some stuff in there that um, I really wanted to try, but when they actually announced what was in it, I already had a lot of the stuff. So I was just like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna buy buy the two things I wanted it in it eventually. And then I got it with a 25% off because they had it on ASOS. I also got a Charlotte Tilbury mini uh, setting spray for my trip. So um, yeah, if you are ever looking for any makeup goodies, have a look on ASOS because 25% off Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not going to turn it down. Now we're going to get in to the try on portion. So stay tuned. I just thought this was the most autumn looking jumper on ASOS. I loved this colour. Like it's such a yucky colour, <laughs> but I loved it. Um, it's like a dark lime, like a dirty lime green. And it's just so autumnal to me. This is Topshop. Oh man, I just, there's just something about filling in something from Topshop. It's childhood trauma or teenage trauma in 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 action here. I'm like, who's oh, Topshop? Topshop, I've been in Topshop. <laughs> but I'm really it's like, I've been in ASOS with a Topshop label beside it. It's really nice. It is giving Topshop vibes. Like it's that kind of energy. There's definitely wool in here though, and mine, it's like, ooh, it's tickling me. Um, yes, what do we have in here? Yes, there's a little bit of wool, and don't I know it. If you've got an allergy, this is lovely. It's super stretchy, super comfy. I just think it's such an interesting colour for autumn. Um, it's just super unusual. It's very nicely made. I think it will last you many years. I think it looks really cute with these jeans and I'll probably like do a little tuck or something or like here, like that. I just think it's really cute, but fortunately, I just think I'm allergic to wool. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there. Like, I don't think I'm going to die, but I'm going to be uncomfortable while I'm wearing it. So, yeah, I'll still show you the stuff. I'm not that worried about putting it on, but it definitely irritates me. So, yeah, I like how, like, it's kind of like a crop sleeve. So it's not, like, too long. 
Um, oh yeah, I really like this jumper. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like the color. Yeah. I am loving this pink and brown combo. We're seeing a lot of places this autumn and I did pick this out for Trina, if you caught the collab that we did together for her to try on. And I was really jealous when I saw it. <laughs> I really like the look of it myself, obviously, because I picked it. So I had to pick it up for myself and try it on because she ordered uh, either a 22 or 20, which was not going to fit me. Um, so I ended up getting it in the 26 because I think it did fit a little snug. I can't remember. Um, but then I, th I think it's too big. <laughs> but then we've got gapping. Ah, oh, this is a problem with buttons. Um, beautiful in visuals, but complicated in fit. I have loads of room up here, which is why I think I would want a 24 at, le at least. Um, but it's gaping. Um, so <laughs> I don't know, it's also very long. Um, Trina is taller than me, so it fit her really, really nicely. I really liked it on her. However, <laughs> it is, I think, actually too long on me. I am 5'6", so this is a very, very long dress. It's really, really pretty, though. Um, I just feel like, you know, the end of summer, beginning of autumn, this is perfect for. And I think as well, it would look so cute with a little chunky cardigan thrown over the top, especially with all these gorgeous brown tones in the dress. But it's just a little bit too long for me, unfortunately. And I don't want to get my, my clothes um, dirty with the street. <laughs> Love this gorgeous deep round neckline. I think that's super flattering. We've also got this little tie at the back, which I just think is a really cute little detail. But yeah, I think I need to, would need to size down. Um, I think, but yeah, it is, it is a little bit, it's, it's a little bit too long, unfortunately, for me. So I think it looks gorgeous on Trina, but I would definitely need a shortened version. Also, I just feel like there should be pockets on this dress. I don't know why. I just feel like it would suit pockets. And there isn't any. So, yeah, gorgeous print, gorgeous material. If you're taller, I think if you're like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, you would be fine with this dress. It's really, really beautiful, but... Yeah, it's just a bit too long for me, never mind. Why do I love like American location merch? I love it, <laughs> I love it so much. I'm so drawn to it. I just love this kind of like outdoors, American or oh, Americana style vibes. I just love it. Um, I prefer it over like university stuff uh, because there is a chance that I may have been here. I'm definitely not going to Harvard, but I could have been to South Lake, California. <laughs> that is. Uh, but I just thought this was super, super cute. Um, Daisy, this is from Daisy Street. I feel like Daisy Street went and now it's back again. Uh, this is in 26. I love the sizing. It's um it's it's nice and loose it's an excellent length it's really nice and soft on the inside but it's not too thick um it's just really really nice and a really good price um the color is a little strange it's kind of like a a buttermilk yellow uh, but i just love this i just love this and you've got a cute little zip boop so you can like keep your neck nice and warm um i just it's really like the only thing, and this is across the board, this isn't attacking Daisy Street by any means, but like they just use the same print on every size. So it looks kind of a little bit small. It's a little bit of a small print on such a big jumper. So I would love it if they would make the print, uh, like just make them a little bit bigger um, every time they size up. I get why they don't, but be nice if they did. But yeah, overall, I just think this is so cute, such a vibe, and the sizing is spot on. Um, I would have fit in a 24, but just I just love the room in my cozy jumpers. Guys, I was so disappointed with <laughs> these trousers. You know when you order something and you envision they're gonna create a new life for you? Like you think, oh, 
I'm gonna look so cool in those when I walk into the office. Everyone's gonna compliment me, say how good I look in my new trousers. And then what turns up? But a parachute. Why are these legs so enormous? They're like sails. Oh, it looks silly. And you can hear when I walk. Can you hear that? It's like thunder. Thunder fires in real life. Um, this here, flattering, gorgeous, covering the belly line, sophisticated. And then they just went crazy um, with these neck pants. <sighs> these look silly. <laughs> I'm so gutted because, yeah, I honestly thought these were like a dead certain for me to keep. Because some girls at work said, oh, you wear a lot of dresses. And I'm like, yeah, I wear a lot of dresses. Because finding things other than jeans in plus size for bottoms is quite hard. Especially when you want to, like, wear something, like, trendy. And I was like, yes, I can not wear a dress for a day. But here we are with these mega trousers. Uh, we'll say they're really nice quality. They fit. Like, I got, I got a 26 um they fit like a glove the material is really really nice material it's very very thick drapey it's kind of like a suit material it's really really nice and thick but oh, God. <laughs> and also i think it's a little long for me i will say i am short in the leg um i'm five six but my legs are definitely shorter but <sighs> I get that they're plus size, but I just feel like this is silly. Like, it just looks silly. I just wish they were a, a little bit smaller. I don't know. But yeah, here is a close-up of the waistband. It's a really nice kind of like, um, like bunched waistband. Um, here is the tie. It is a clasp and a button and a zip. Really, really nicely made, super, super comfortable. Um, so if it wasn't for the crazy, crazy legs, uh, these would have been a keep. But never mind, you can't win them all. Why is this jumper so cute? But it's huge. Like this jumper is massive, but it feels very like free people. It feels very kind of, I don't know, like a bit hippie-ish, but in a, like in a cool way. Um, I really like this. I just think it's really, really cute, really different, really easy to style as well, because it's just an, an elevated neutral. I have, I don't think you could wash this. I think this is like a dry clean piece. So if you want to bear that in mind, you want to like make sure you've got a good deal or deal or something on and not get any like tomato sauce on it or anything. Um, but I just think it's so cute. There's like so much like detail in it with all these gorgeous like fringing and like, other knitted designs it's a nice length as well it's not too long not too short it's also i don't think there is any wool in it i think it might be like a cotton knit it doesn't feel as hot but like how cute i think it's like i feel like i want to be around a bonfire a campfire but no because it makes stuff as well smoky but i just there's something about this jumper that i really really like i think it's really cute really different and yeah i feel like very like earthy i feel like i'm connecting with my roots <laughs> i just i just think it's really really cute so <laughs> yeah i know it's not going to be for everyone but i really like it mm, tempting i think this dress in principle is is gorgeous it's kind of like a kimono style Dress made of that really nice stretchy plisé accordion material with this really fun, uh, like big splotchy floral print over it. Ah, we've got these honkers of slits on both sides. And I must not have seen it because when, you, um, when you're on the website, you just see the front and the back. You don't see like the sides. So I think from the front, it looks really, really nice, but practical. Um, so I am a practical girly, like, I think my chub rub shorts, like, it comes up so high. 
Like that's really high guys, we're halfway up my thigh. Um, my chub rub sh shorts would be showing and I really wouldn't want to wear tights with something like this long because it just means you're limited to like what shoes you can wear. So yeah, I don't know why they made the slits this high, but also on both sides, double whammy. Um, I think the sleeves are very dramatic. Let me show you a close up so you can see the print. I love the print. I think it's really fun. V necklines. I have like grown to love. I used to hate V necklines as like a like a teenager. I used to think they were really old fashioned. But like as I've grown up, I'm like, I get it. I get it. They're just really flattering. They're just really good to like draw the eye in. Um yeah, I love how it looks from the front, but the slits are just they're just it's a no. But it's super, super stretchy. I've got this in a 24, fits perfectly. Um, if you're, if you don't get chub rub, one, let us know how. Um, but also I think, you know, this wouldn't be an issue for you then because it's just, I need to know how I'm gonna wear chub rub shorts. So yeah, I think the dress is gorgeous. If you're handy with sewing, you could probably stitch the slits up yourself, but is it really worth doing that for a dress? Mm. Yeah. Like the dress, hate the slits. There we go. And this was a necessary purchase and I'm literally gonna be wearing this. As I upload this video, this is gonna be my airplane jumper. I had, had to get this for Las Vegas. Obviously, I hope I'm not out of luck. But it's just too iconic not to wear. This was from Daisy Street as well in a 26. Again, as you can see with the icon, it is still quite small for how big the jumper is. So that's the only, literally the only complaint I have. This was £16 with a discount. Like, honestly, I'm so pleased with it. I love how it's just really nice kind of like acid wash charcoal it's so comfortable it's a really nice fit it's a really nice length um obviously i will be wearing this with leggings i just want to be comfy guys um so this is perfect especially like planes they can be hot one minute cold the next minute so yeah um yeah i think this is just so cute i can't wait to wear it on the plane but yeah guys wish me luck i'm not much of a gambler so i'm not going to be playing <laughs> much at all but if the little bit that i do play please wish me lots of luck hopefully i'll hit the jackpot with my five dollar bet <laughs> but yeah i think this is so cute and um i i have to put my notifications on for this though i was incredibly lucky like i was still away i couldn't sleep it was like midnight and literally got a notification that the 26th was back in stock because I put it on for like 24, 26, 28, and I still managed to get the 25% off discount. I would have bought it full price anyway, just because I wanted it so badly for Vegas. But yes, I was in luck. I was in luck then. So yeah, think of me in the air, flying back home as you watch this video. But yeah, I'm so happy with this piece. I was literally looking for like a little kind of like, Vegasy something or something and this was the perfect, perfect 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 so yeah honestly really really happy with it and I'm so excited for my trip guys I'm in need in need of a trip so yeah I think this dress is gorgeous it took a little bit of finessing a little bit of faffing it's giving me Vivian Westwood I think this is gorgeous. This is from the Collusion range. It's been a very, very long time since I bought anything from the Collusion range. I just thought this print was so eye-catching, so gorgeous. Um, I had to try it. I didn't realise it was a velvet material. I thought this was going to be like a satin polyester because the print was just so bright and bold but it's um this stretchy velvet which i'm all for um i yeah it's quite unexpected i'm really glad i got it in the 26 i think collusion has always been a little bit on the smaller side because they are affordable they i feel like they skimp on material don't shoot the messenger 
uh, but I think this is gorgeous. I'm, now, I think there is a little bit that I need to sort out in regards to the straps and the neckline because one of the straps has this like O-ring, love that detail, but just need to work out um, the right length for everything. I think I need to like shorten uh, this strap so it's up with here so it's like equal but look at this gorgeous print guys you've got these huge kind of like psychedelic roses on a on a tartan green background like you get the kind of vivian westward alexander mcqueen type vibes i really like it there's definitely a resurgence of english heritage vibes coming in from like the rebrand of Burberry and all of that so it's great to kind of have something plus size that kind of speaks to that kind of British design revival which I am all for so yeah I feel quite punk rock and roll but also like classy this might come in the case with me to Vegas I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I am I think it was a good price because it's collusion and I got the 25% off so maybe she's coming with me to Vegas it is gonna be 33 degrees though <laughs> what <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like 25 because the last time I went it was like nice but it wasn't that nice, so we're definitely taking um, our like, swimwear for the pool. Um, yeah, my wardrobe plans for Vegas have completely shifted, and I've got to go unpack all my summer, because I put all my summer stuff away last weekend, and now I've got to go take it all out again uh, to see what I want to take on holiday. So anyway, enough of that, but yeah, I would have already have been to Vegas, so... Um, doesn't matter what you say <laughs> but yeah I think this would be such a fun little evening dress let me know what you think but also doesn't matter <laughs> but yeah I really like it so guys that is the end of the haul a mixed bag of stuff from bralettes boots dresses all sorts so do let me know down below in the comments if you liked anything if you're going to pick anything up uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and everything will be linked down below in the description box i'll see you very soon bye